that seems like now everybody but Nerf is doing a pro line. The TLDR on this beautiful piece is, uh, did you hit subscribe and like yet? Because it's a 30 dollar bullpup springer short dart and full leg dart blaster that advertises 140 fps out of the box and holds quite a few other surprises yeah 30 dollars for something that looks like this man that's gonna stand out on shelves this is where you pick it up if you're outside the u.s i don't know because i don't live there Man, the X-Shot skin stuff looks absolutely phenomenal. I can never get over that. And the fact that they can sell something that looks this beautiful for $30 blows my mind. And hey, X-Shot, if you want to take more of my money, uh, put a cat girl on it. Or a maid. Or, or a cat girl maid. I, I, I'm not really that picky. And if you agree with me, let X-Shot know down in the comment section below, because I guarantee you they're going to be paying attention. In the box, you get both full-length darts and their new half-length darts. Their short dart mag and mag adapter, and yes, this thing is compatible with both Talon magazines from Worker and Jet Blaster Katana mags. Heck, it even works with the Dart Zone magazines. And of course, the beast itself, with a muzzle attachment, sights, and the full-length dart magazine already inserted. The sights are, uh, just plastic. The back one doesn't do anything, but the front one, you can adjust the post up and down. However, these things don't really hold on to the rail at all, so good luck holding a zero. The muzzle itself actually has some rifling in it to work as a scar muzzle, which is really interesting. And even then, the stock back here is adjustable. Not by much, but it is. Full length dart magazine, don't really care, we'll test that later. But the short dart magazine and adapter for 30 bucks. What's more mind blowing about this is this little thing right here. You can almost miss it, but this is a mag release. However, it only works with the short dart mag. And the funniest thing about that is it only drops the short dart mag. It doesn't drop the adapter. That is something you don't find on practically any blaster like this. And that is insane for again, a $30 blaster. Grip is absolutely phenomenal. It thins up at the top, but it's nice and fat at the bottom, fits my hand perfectly, and I have no complaints about it. For grip, similar affair. It's, uh, it's very, very wobbly. Uh, that's just gonna happen though with a $30 blaster, but it's comfortable. The prime is smooth. It does have a ratcheting thing, so you can prime it kind of half the way and it gets stuck. So you make sure you can do a full prime and you can prime it with your pinky. Pretty light spring load out of the box for 140 FPS. And if you hold down the trigger, prime it back, when you prime it back forward, it automatically fires. Meaning it has slam fire, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love the skin stuff. The matte finish they put on this that makes it just look like painted metal. It is seriously top tier. Nothing competes with it. This is one of the most beautiful skin designs they've ever done too. I really like how they've presented this blaster. Now you can actually see the plunger tube right there and it is a very large plunger tube. One of the largest I've seen on a blaster and that's quite a lot of draw. That is amazing for again, a $30 blaster, which pretty much just signifies you don't need to have insane price tags for good performance. You just need to have a basic fundamentals of physics. Turn it forward and fire. It's got a safety selector right here. It's really easy for me to manipulate with one hand. Hold down the trigger. Ooh. That's the downside with a ratcheting prime is it can really slow down your slam fire, but that was still pretty freaking good. Wow, she pops. I mean, that's a pretty good stock length right there, but if I extend this out, it is now the perfect length of pull, but it's not the most comfortable cheek weld. And it's even got a little jam door right here in case something goes wrong with your blaster. Yeah, this is a weird one because the darts feed in and the barrel and whatnot goes through the center of the plunger tube. Now, obviously that is going to affect the volume of your plunger tube, which is probably why it's so monstrously big. Man, this is a, a really light blaster. This is one of the lightest primary blasters I've ever gotten my hands on. And I'll tell you what, I've already been spoiled on this because my Discord got it last night and they were the ones pinging me incessantly about, hey, this thing's out, you should try to go get one and I managed to get one. But if this video does pretty good in the first couple of hours, I will do a mod guide on it tomorrow. So surprise me internet and I will show you exactly what this thing can be capable of. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. You know what time it is, pizza time or chronographing time where we use a chronograph to measure the velocity of the 
foam darts coming out of the barrel so we can objectively compare it to its peers. Measured in feet per second. All right, because somebody's gonna ask for it, I will shoot a couple of the full length darts through the blaster. This is the only test I'm gonna be doing with the full length darts, because quite frankly, I don't care and neither should you. They're full length darts. 145. 137. 148. 118. 106 and 123 feet per second. Average for standard nerf is about 70 feet per second, but the average for Dart Zone Pro, and this being a X-Shot Pro Blaster, that's comparable, is about 150 feet per second. So that's pretty good, but let's move over to the better dart. And now the short darts that the X-Shot Pro Long Shot comes with. 137, 126, 134, 122, 118, 138, 133, 134, 143, and 110. Not the most consistent thing ever, but I've seen far worse. And that 140s, 130s is really good out of something like this, especially for that light of a prime. Now I did weigh the darts the blaster came with and they came in at about 0.93 grams. So they are slightly lighter than the Adventure Force Pro darts. But until we see refills of the X-Shot Pro Series darts, uh, Adventure Force Pro darts or Dart Zone Max darts are gonna be far more ubiquitous. So let's fire a couple of the Adventure Force Pro darts out of it. These darts weigh about one gram, so slightly heavier. 152, 154, 147, 155, 148, 150. Ah, uh, much better performance with heavier darts. This thing really likes the Adventure Force darts, so that might be your ammunition of choice. All right, it's time for the target test on my simulated range. I've got a target down there, closer to the center, higher the score. Typical score for a decent blaster is about 75. 85 means it's pretty exceptionally accurate, higher than that. Who knows? All right, I've got 10 shots and I'm gonna be using this optic to make sure I try to keep things as good as possible. Let's see what she can do. Little bit of spread there, not gonna lie, but that's a pretty good score right there for my first run. Let's load it up and try again. I am using brand new Adventure Force Pro Darts for this since they seem to perform better in my chronograph testing anyway. Round two. significantly more spread on that. This does have some rifling in the barrel, but it might not be doing a very good job. That's still decently accurate, like functionally enough, but I'll go one more time. 80, I think we can do better. Shoot the targets for good luck. Ooh. Yeah, there's a little bit of spread going on. I promise you that dot is in the center of the target the entire time. So out of the box, it is accurate enough, I would say, but it could definitely be improved. There's quite a bit of random spread on those shots. The X-Shot Pro Series long shot is undoubtedly an amazing blaster, but every single reason for that revolves around its price tag. But that also goes for every con against this blaster because it is far from perfect and it might not be the blaster for you, but again, it is $30 US. That makes it the cheapest possible 150 FPS primary you could probably get, and it has a lot of cool features that you do not expect for such a low price tag. But let's get some of the bad stuff out of the way. The build quality is uh, very flimsy. It is slightly better than what you get with normal X-Shot stuff, but 
the grip for instance, that's pretty disgusting. The sights are fundamentally useless. They don't grip very well on the Picatinny rail whatsoever. And even when you do put an optic on the Picatinny rail, it is so flexible, you might worry. The included magazines are good enough, thin, flexible, but good enough. The included darts are good enough. But what about some of the good? Well, this thing is incredibly light. It's one of the lightest primary foam dart blasters I think you can get your hands on, and that's with a metal barrel. The stock being adjustable is not needed, but super cool. It's bullpup configuration, it's awesome, and this short dart mag release is amazing. That, that was not needed at all, and yet I'm positively thankful for it. The tiny bit of rifling on the muzzle, yeah, it's okay. It does do a little bit of something, but it could still use more. The prime, very light. Not the lightest I've ever felt for 150 FPS, but pretty darn good. And again, for $30, this thing is an absolute steal. If you're already married to your Nexus Pro and stuff like that, this will still give it a run for its money because this has slam fire and some people may find that useful. But if you already have other high performance blasters and you don't really care about how this one looks or feels, you're not gonna be missing out a whole lot. For everybody else, I really hope this is your introduction to high performance foam flinging combat because this is a really good one. And whatever issues there might be with durability in the design, well, it doesn't matter because it's $30. Just, it's pretty much disposable at that point. Just go out and get another one. With all these wonderful features at such a low price point, it is an absolute no brainer. Even if you have every blaster under the sun, you will probably still have some fun with your X-Shot Pro Series long shot. And X-Shot, I mean, you have more than my attention now. You actually are starting to get my undying loyalty. However, I'm really hoping I see a second design before the end of the year, but if anything, keep it coming. I think I speak for all of us now when I say, just make some more blasters. You're pretty good at it when you put your minds to it.